Raymond James Stadium, home of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, is where today's game will come to you from. Everyone has brought their raincoats for this one as the Titans match up against the Bucks. Both teams have taken the field, and let's see what happens now as we're ready for the kickoff. Crosby looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. This one is handled by O'Neill. John, if I say defense wins championships, the cliche police will arrest me. But I'm going to say it anyway, as two of the very best are out there for this one. These are the games that I really love to watch. It's all about ball control and limiting the mistakes that you make on offense. Both of these teams have a ton of talent on the defensive side. And I'll tell you one thing for sure. It's going to be tough to score points in this one. It'll probably be a dogfight right down to the end. He deflected it just in time to avert the completion. The receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. One back. Here we come. Hold the left. Jackson, the lone back. I'll come through, baby. Hand it off to the back. Is there on the stop. As a coach, you need to make sure that you establish your running game as a weapon that can hurt the other team. Picked up about six yards that time. Third and four. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Titans with a four-man front. Green makes the stop, and they'll be short of the marker. The third down run comes up short, so we should see a punt here. Player comes into the game for the punt. Randall L lines up deep for the punt return. From the 19. It's first and ten. Ball on the 22 yard line. Watch your man. Come on. Watch your day. Go low. Go low. Here we go, baby. And off to the tailback. Robinson is there for the tackle at the 32. Lynch running hard, going right through the arm tackles. Second and one coming up. The Bucks with a four-man front. He gets the count. Play action. Gets rid of it. Jumps up and comes down with it. Davis. Davis makes a very difficult catch through the first down. When you go up like that, coming down with it is usually not much fun, especially when you got guys nearby who are waiting to put a lick on you. First it's and first ten. and ten. Danny, Danny, Danny. Hey, watch that screen. The Buccaneers line up in a 4 3. All right, now. Here we go. Left, left. With a counter play. Stoutmeyer comes up to make the play at the 38. Great run there. That'll be a first down. He really ran well there. He gets some great blocks, and he has patience as he picks up the first down. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Let's go. 
looking upfield. What is there on the stop at the 29-yard line? When your offensive line is getting a good push up front, it's a lot easier to pick up yardage on the ground. Second and about one. The Buccaneers with a four-man front. Here comes the blitz. With the throw, Robinson is there for the tackle at the 16. He zips that pass in there and picks up a first down. That was a smart play call. They reacted to the defensive set, and they come up with just the right play to beat it. First and 10. Ball the 16-yard line. Play football. Bucks line up in a 4-3. Give it to the halfback. Thomas comes up to make the play at the 10 yard line. Lynch with a nice burst through the middle that time. Five yard pickup. They need 10 for a score. On the 10 yard line. Tennessee lines up in a 4 3. What is there for the tackle at the five? Pickup of about five that produces a fresh set of downs. Yeah, and the offensive line did a pretty good job picking up the blitz, giving him the extra time he needed to find the hole. Five yards away from the end zone. Davis comes in motion. Fakes the throw. With the throw, incomplete. And good pressure forced him to get rid of the pass early. Any way you look at it, an incomplete pass is a heck of a lot better than throwing it to the other guy. It's second and goal at the five. Let's go. Blue game, blue game. I'm coming through, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All on us, y'all. Floats one into the end zone. Pope was the intended receiver on that play. It's third and goal at the five-yard line. With the counter play, Carter comes up to make the play at the five. No can do. The defense comes up with a stop on third and goal. Crosby and trying to give his team the lead with this field goal attempt. The field goal attempt sails is good. The upright. Decent drive turning their first possession into three points. And you want to get something on your first possession. They were looking for a touchdown, but the defense kind of tightened up. This one is fielded by O'Neill. Delta O'Neill has a nice return, taking it back to the 31. The Buccaneers will start the drive at the 31-yard line. First and 10. Cross play to the right. With the hurt. Suck is there for the tackle at the 40-yard line. You've got to keep going to the run. You never know when there's going to be a great blocking ahead of you, allowing for a big one right into the end zone. Second, it's second down and one to go. On the 40-yard line. Hey, let's go. Watch the snap now. So we go the Titans come out in a nickel package. Let's go. Let's go. Hold the line. Let's go now. Rosen. Broken up. He needs to do a better job putting the pass in a spot where only his guy can get it. Those tip passes can turn into interceptions pretty easily. Ford was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Third and one. Ball on the 40-yard line. Left, left. Oh, 
Only one man back. Crossing it right, trying to get past the sticks. Jonathan Vilma makes the stop, and they'll be short of the marker. Jackson makes a valiant effort, but can't make it to the first down marker. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. From the 21. Antoine Randall with some good moves and gets good yardage, bringing it back to the 34 yard line. The first and 10. Start the drive at the 34 yard line. First and 10. Let's go, boys! Defense lines up in the nickel. Rogers with a man in motion. Under pressure, deep throw. The pass ball is incomplete, and it will be an interference call on that play. The only question was if the defense or the receiver. On the defense, number 34. Lock. Got there a little too early. Yeah, those guys were having a battle all the way down the field. On first down. Gets rid of it. Almost intercepted. They were in his own defense in perfect position to make the play. They let it get away. Three minutes remaining in the quarter. Tennessee comes out in a 4-3. play. Glover stops him for negative yardage. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Third down of the spot they'll have to reach for a first is the 33. Rogers scans the defense from the gun. Drops back. Gets the pass off. Nearly intercepted. Sometimes in zone coverage, a quarterback will throw to a spot where his receiver is supposed to be. That time, the only one there was a defender who couldn't make the catch. Sastadil will come in now to punt it away. O'Neill is the deep return man. From the 14. O'Neill is the injured player on the field. They'll be coming out for this next play, so we'll find out what the story is. The ball on their own 15. We'll start the drive at the 15 yard line. First and 10. Bring it up, bring it up. Only one man back. Hand it off to the back. Goal comes up to make Jackson the play on the at the 19-yard line. Jackson with a nice line. burst through the middle that time. Five-yard pickup. Second and six. The injury Ball earlier the was a severe contusion to his elbow. They'll ice it, but he will not be able to return to the game. With the pass, Hood is there on the stop. At the 32-yard line. You can't draw it up any better than that. Textbook first down. First Two minutes ten. left in the quarter. The, line. Stay now. Watch out. the Titans with a four-man front. He'll yeah, pass on first down. Gets the pass off. This one will be spotted at the 33-yard line. Any first down play needs to yield some kind of yard. You don't want second and long too many times. Ball on their own 33. 
Ball on the 33 yard line. Be careful. Hey, let's go. Regular. Jackson. Boom. Setback. Garcia go. sends a man in motion. With the carry. Harris comes up to make the play at the 35 yard line. When you run the ball in the first half, you're trying to keep the defense on it. But if you're only getting gains like that in the second half, then it puts more pressure on your passing game. Third and ball seven. on their own 35. Ball on the 35 yard line. It's rid of it. Ooh, nearly picked off. He's back in his own. He's reading. He sees the quarterback the whole way. And then he gets a chance at an interception. He just didn't finish the play. Player is ready to pump this one away. Randall out. Back to return. Fair catch. Fair catch made at the 22 yard line. The Titans will start the drive at the 22 yard line. First and 10. Flag going! Only one man back. Let's go, boys! Going to the air on first down. Closing in. Going long. What a catch. Robinson is there on the stop. He brings it in for a big game. Almost every wide receiver gets better at running routes as they get older. And this guy is no exception. First Ball on the 35-yard line. Ball on the 35-yard line. Tennessee comes out in a 4-3. Hand off to the tailback. It's loose. The puck swollen. He never had a good handle on that thing. A lot of guys will wear gloves to help him hold on to the ball. But even if you do, you still got to wrap it up and protect it. Or you're going to see a lot of balls popping out like that. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. From the start, from the start. Let's go, deep two. We're coming to the this one is handed off. Number 30 comes up and makes the play at the 40. A tough running game will make your passing attack even more effective. So that's a gain of about five. Ball on their own 40. Ball on the 40 yard line. There we go, baby. Rock and roll. Jackson, the long setback. Pressure coming. Throws this one away. He couldn't find a receiver, so he threw it where no one could get it. Third it's third down and five to go. Garcia sends a man in motion. Drops back. Oh, that was a great defensive call. A lot of big plays are made with individual effort. You also got to give credit to this coordinator, because he's the one who puts his guys in position to make the plays. So at the end of one, the score is 3-0. The Titans, three. The Buccaneers, nothing. The teams the as much size and will start the second quarter. This will be his fourth punt of the day. And he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made at the 30 yard line. The Titans will start the drive at the 30-yard line. First and 10. Let's go, D, let's go. Tennessee using three linebackers. Going to the 
the air on first down. Gets the pass off. Watt is there for the tackle at the 43. He gets the first down reception and then some. First and 10. Ball on the 43 yard line. Bring it up, bring it up. Go make the play. The Bucks with a four man front. Freeney is there on the stop at the 34. Vision is so important to these ball carriers. They got to find a hole and get to it before it closes. There's no hole there, and they got to know that too. If you don't have the vision, you just can't find the hole. Tennessee comes out in a 4-3. Little misdirection. Misses the tackle. Puts it on the ground. The Buccaneers grab the live ball. The defense came up with the ball on that one. Ball on their own 27. Ball on the 27 yard line. Garcia with a man in motion. Tucks it away. Green is there on the stop. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 27 yard line. Watch your eyes. Gets the pass off, and it's caught. Number 30 is there for the tackle at the 38-yard line. Seems like all they have to do is just throw it near this guy, and he finds a way to come down with it. Yeah, I was talking to the coach this week, and he told me that he's probably got the best hands in the team. And right there, he just showed us why. They go with the draw. Suck comes up to make Jackson the play at the 44-yard line. Jackson got the call on the draw. Six-yard pickup. Ball on their own 44. Ball on the 44-yard line. Will, Will, Will. Dropping back. Pressure. Gets rid of it. Almost picked off. Ward was his intended Ward, target. Intended Griffin was there on the cover. On the Third and four. Ball on the 44 yard line. Play hard and fast, baby. Throwing. He hits his receiver. That's a poorly planned play. You have to know that you have to get past the first down marker on third down. Anything less has to be a failure. Player comes into the game for the punt. Randall L. looks like he's ready for the return. He signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made at the 21 yard line. The Titans will start the drive at the 21 yard line. First and 10. The Bucks come out in a dime package. Going to the air on first down. With the pass, drops the interception. Bryant was the intended receiver on that play. The intended receiver on the play. Second and 10. The Buccaneers, with a four-man front, receives the handoff. Can't bring him down. Zach Thomas is the man to bring him down. That's his third tackle. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Ball on their own 22. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Bucks come out in a nickel package. 
Gets the pass off. Incomplete as the and defender knocks it away. When it's raining like this, you have to make sure you get the ball secured. It looked like he might have taken his eye off the ball at the last second, and that had a lot to do with him losing it. So the lineup to punt after going three and out. From the 37. Pass. Turns this one to the 45. First and 10. Ball on the 45 yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Let's go. Let's go. Another counter play. Hit it. Great move to get free. Number 30 is there for the tackle. At the 36-yard line. He starts out the wrong way and winds up losing yards. Yeah, they got good penetration on the line. Guys flying to the ball, getting to the ball carrier, making a heck of a defensive play. Second and long. Ball on the 36-yard line. The Buccaneers line up in a five-receiver set this time. Rump is there on the stop. Good catch on second and long that picks up the first down. That one was about pass rush and pass protection. The offensive line was successful in what they had to do to make sure the quarterback had the time he needed. First and ten. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Bring it up. The Titans line up in a 4-3. Throws it. Almost in a second. What the defense is doing is they're watching the quarterback's eyes. They're cluing. They're in position so that whatever happens, the ball is in front of them. And that time, it almost got him an interception. Second and 10. Ball on the 44 yard line. Here we go, baby. Blue down, blue down. Go make the play. The Bucks line up in trips bunch. Hey, it off to the back. Goal. Comes up to make the play at the 44. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Third down. They have to get it to the 34-yard line for a first. The Titans come out in a nickel pass. And they'll have a fourth down now after no connection on that short pass. Randall L. gets set for the return as we take a look at his numbers. Player is trying to pin them close to their goal line. And so the punt goes out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 19 yard line. Watch him in. How we go, baby? Rock and roll. Nickelback in this time. Hold the look. Going to the air on first down. Gets the pass off. Knocked away. He's got great recovery speed. He can catch up to the ball even if he's caught out of position. That time he was right there in the secondary to tip the ball away. Bryant was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Second and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. The Buccaneers line up in a 4-3. Hand off on the draw. Williams is there on the stop at the 24. It's important to pound the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they're going to bend. Ball on their own 24. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Bucks come out on a nickel package. So we gonna take it. Gets the pass off. He finds his man. What a throw. He put everything he had into that one. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. 
The Buccaneers line up in a 4-3. Thomas comes up to make the play at the 44-yard line. Now they got to keep going at it. They can get that defense tired and on its heels, these games will get longer and bigger as the game goes on. It's second down and four to go. On the 44-yard line. Hey, watch that screen! Let's go, be free. The Bucks come out in a 4-3. We're talking about Bree! Looking upfield. Williams is there for the tackle at the 48. Excellent run for a first down. It brought some extra heat with the blitz, but he was able to find some room and pick up the first. Ball on the 48-yard line. Ball on the 48-yard line. Here we come. Rogers scans the defense from the gun. With the carry. Pool is there on the Win. stop. On the He's looked good so Seven far. I just keep giving him the ball. The ball on the 41 yard line. Ball on the 41 yard line. Watch the snap down. Knock him out. Tennessee comes out in a 4 3. Come on. He hands it off. Freeney is there for the tackle at the 37. Good pickup on the ground as they convert for the first. Here's the thing. They were looking run and brought the blitz. But the back just used his vision and elusiveness to avoid him and get past the mark. Almost at the two-minute mark now. Here we go, baby. The Buccaneers come out in a dime package. Going to the air on first down. Gets rid of it. Complete to the wide receiver. Hagens pulls him down at the 29-yard line. He found a soft spot in the coverage, John. The receiver did a great job reading the coverage. He found a hole in the zone, and the quarterback found him in that hole with the pass. Two-minute warning coming up. On the 29-yard line. Yeah, you see me. Hey, watch the screen. Safety right. So two minutes left before halftime. The Bucks with a four-man front. He gets the handoff on the delay. Solid gain on the draw, and they convert for a first down. He didn't get a huge chunk of yards, but he got past the marker, and that'll bring up a fresh set of down. And this is the tenth play of this drive. You can't stop me. Tennessee using three linebackers. They'll spot this one at the 16-yard line. With the way he's playing out there, you can see why he's considered one of the most dangerous players on the team. And this is the 11th play of this drive. They're threatening inside the 20. They're inside the 20 and have a three-point lead. Stoutmeyer makes the stop and the 15 again and again. Another first down. Yeah, and this offense has really impressed me on this drive. They've been moving the ball very methodically. They're getting closer and closer to the end zone. First 12th play of this drive. Down inside the 15. Tennessee with six defensive backs. Got to him as he throws. They did a nice job up front with their bull rushes and rips and stunts, forcing adjustments along the offensive line. They have to do a better job getting off the ball and controlling the line of scrimmage. But they're going to have a tough time whenever they drop back and throw. Ball on the 15 yard So we're going to take it. Drop the snap down. Go low. Go low. Gives the ball off. Great fake. Under pressure, gets rid of it. Ooh, nearly picked off. Who had the coverage on the play. And this is the 14th play of this drive. Let's go, boys! To the end zone, almost picked off. And because of that drop, would be interception, they can still kick a field goal. You can't miss chances like that to steal points away. The 
Cruz heads out onto the field for the field goal attempt. The kick is good. What they want to do now is to realize they've established some things on offense and to approve upon them the next drive to get a TD rather than a field goal. Tennessee is lined up for the kickoff. Number 38 back to return. Good distance. He won't have a chance for a return here. The, the offense takes over the after they were unable to get any points on their last drive. First Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Titans come out on a nickel pack. Griffin is there for the tackle at the 32-yard line. It's usually a good call to throw it in his direction, John. Yeah, he's got some of the best hands in the league. He'll catch just about anything he can get to. I think he's most effective when they really need to catch. Third down and things like that. That's when he really shines out there. Gets the pass off. This one falls incomplete. Good push by the defensive line, forcing the incomplete pass. He hung in there. But he didn't really have the time that he needed to make the play. The quarterback has to know who his outlet guy is and get the ball to him when he feels that pressure come. Ball on the 32-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Garcia sends a man in motion. Drops back with a deep throw to the right side. Incomplete. Griffin with the coverage. I'll tell you, here's a defensive lineman's dream. Third and long, and he knows they have to pass. Third and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. TV, let's go! This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. Rolls right. Gets rid of it. This one will be spotted at the 30-yard line. And of course, his third tackle of the game. Garcia with a man in motion. Dropping back to pass on first down. With the pass. And he, oh, he had it. Launched it incomplete. There's not one wide receiver who can ever claim that he's never dropped a pass. It's just part of the game. Second and ten. Ball on the 30 yard line. Slot, slot. The Titans come out in a dime package. Closing in. You got to give a lot of credit to this defensive line. They got a good push in the middle, and he was right there to bring them down. You know what this does? It keeps one defense on the field. And it doesn't let them get the right personnel in there sometimes. Pressure coming. Throws it. He hits his receiver. Seidman doesn't get enough to convert, and that brings up fourth down. is heading onto the field for this field goal attempt. It was long enough, but it's sliced to the right. So they're ready to go on offense after the missed field goal. They'll start at the 40-yard line. The Buccaneers line up at a 4-3. Glover is there on the stop at the 39-yard line. You know, Johnny always seems to be in perfect position to make a play. He's all about effort. His motor's always running at 100%, and he's got the experience to diagnose plays very quickly. It's second down and 10 to go. The Bucks come out in a 4-3. 
On pull. Shark sipping. Stadmar comes up to make the play. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose into the secondary. This is where the defense needs to just play smart and not give up a big play. There's not a whole lot of time left, so they just need to prevent them from getting into field goal range. The Buccaneers come out of the nickel pack. Fires this one deep. Drops the interception. Good defense and three and out series are the way to keep your defense fresh and rested. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. Fair catch. Going into halftime, the, half, the score is 6 the score nothing. Is Titans. The Titans. 6, the Buccaneers, nothing. We're ready to begin the third quarter of play. Play Tampa Bay to kick this one off. off to start the second half. Randall L. back deep to return. From the one yard line. Randall, Randall L. returns this one yard. to the 20. Randall L. on the return. The Titans will start the drive at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Stay home. Only one man in the backfield. Boy, the counter play. Higgins is there for the tackle at the 20-yard line. No gain on that play as the linebacker slipped in almost unnoticed. Yeah, he did a great job getting in there. He was looking for the run before they even snapped the ball. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20-yard line. Blue Dan, Blue Dan. Lynch, the lone back. Gets rid of it. And he lets it slip out of his grasp. All he can do is look at his hands and wonder what the heck happened. Third and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. It's all about teamwork. The Buccaneers come out in a nickel package. Throwing. Right on target to the wide receiver. Chambers didn't get enough for the first. The upcoming punt will mark his fourth so far. They'll spot this one where it went out. That was a great kick, sailing more than 50 yards. First Ball on their own 18. Ball on the 18-yard line. Let us get to Will, Will, Will. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The Titans line up in a 4-3. Everything you got. Aimed it off to the back. Great move to get through. Hovan is there on the stop. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. One yard gain on that play. Ball on their own 19. Ball on the 19 yard line. Regular. So we're going to take it. Nickelback in this time. With the pass. Broken up. He has a great feel for defending the pass. He always seems to be in great position to make a play in the ball. Maury was his intended target. Third and nine. Ball on the 19-yard line. Deuce it, deuce it. let's go! I think this defense looks forward to these third down situations because they've been stopping them today. Knocked away. 
He can catch just about anything that the quarterback throws in his direction. He couldn't find a way to quiet that one down and bring it in for a catch. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. From the 48 yard line, Antoine Randall appears to have sustained an injury and will make his way to the sideline under his own power. First and ten. We'll start the drive at the 42-yard line. First and ten. Lynch, the lone back, and off to the tailback. Thomas comes up to make the play. Lynch takes it up the middle for a yard or two. Ball on the 40-yard line. Let's update you on the injury situation. They're saying it's a minor pain in his arm. And he might be able to get back into the game. Rodgers with a man in motion. Looking for the deep pass down the right side. It's broken up. He had to unload that pass in a hurry. Yeah, he felt those guys closing in and gunning the ball out of there. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. The Bucks come out in a dime package. Dropping back. Throws to the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown. Touchdown. Tennessee. They put up six points by beating the coverage. Well, the cover two works well because it eliminates options. At that time, the quarterback made a quick read and he got it off quickly. Crosby comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. That was a nice job of keeping those chains moving and avoiding costly penalty. Now they've got to see if they can keep this momentum that they have established going for the remainder of this game. All of it. This team is going to have to focus a lot more than they did in the first half if they're going to come back. Antoine Randall returns from being injured. The Buccaneers come out in the bunch formation. at the 23-yard line, and that tackle gives him three in the game. Ball on their own 23. Ball on the 23-yard line. They soft, man. Only one man back. Pollard, the man in motion. Gets rid of it. Almost intercepted. Ward ran the short pattern, but couldn't pull it in. Griffin was there on the coverage. Third and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. Peppers drags the ball carrier down behind the line. Julius Peppers looks to be shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. Right. 
So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returners stats. So the lineup to punt after going three and out. This one goes out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. The Bucks with a four-man front. Roger sends a man in motion. Hand off to the tailback. William belts him hard at the 46-yard line. John, nothing there on that play. Looks like he might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. They better mix up the play call a little more, trying to free up some space in the middle. That back just didn't have any help from his line on that play. So we're now about the earlier injury. We're being told that he has been examined, and it is felt that he should not return to play in this game. Hand it off. Freeney is there for the tackle at the 42-yard line. Lynch is having an outstanding day with over 100 yards rushing. To convert on this third down, they have to get it to the 37-yard line. Everything you got, keep the throttle down. Tennessee using three linebackers. One of us gonna make a play. Deuce, deuce. Blitz is coming. Rolls right, gets rid of it. He hits his receiver, and he is bumped Henry, out of bounds at the 27-yard line. A 15-yard gain right there on third down. First Ball on the 27-yard line. Ball on the 27-yard line. Blue game, blue game. The lineup of six defensive backs. Throws it. It appears they've gotten someone for holding on the play. Holding. On the offense. They'll get him for holding here. I didn't really see a hold on that one. That could be one of those phantom calls. First and long. Ball on the 37 yard line. Tennessee looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. Pressure. The rush gets him from behind. Looks like there was a missed assignment somewhere. The play looked like it was developing perfectly. And boom! The pass rusher got there and dragged him down. Now in second and long after the set. 42 yard line. Danny, Danny, Danny. Let's go. The Bucks come out in a dime packet. It's go time, baby. It's rid of it. And it's complete. The receiver breaks free. He took what he was given, completing the pass. Yeah, what you want to do as a receiver who's facing zone coverage is to break into the secondary, find a hole, settle down, and show the quarterback your numbers. That was a good job. Ball on the 29-yard line. Ball on the 29-yard line. Got to keep our points here. The Buccaneers come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. Get it up! Here they come. Under pressure with the throw. This pass is incomplete. He won the battle at the line of scrimmage and forced a bad throw. Every quarterback needs a little time to look over the field. There we saw a defense who wasn't given any time at all. This, here, this will be about a 36-yard field goal. The Cross field goal that kick has now chipped in with three field goals. And give credit to the kicker there. It's nice to have a guy that can make your drive worth three, even if you don't get it into the end zone every time. This one is fielded by number 38. Been a rough start to this game, but they still have enough time to turn it around. Right. 
Ball on their own 20. will start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Hand it off. Vilma is there on the stop. A successful running attack requires good blocking up front to be effective. Second and three. Ball on the 27 yard line. Defense, get ready. The Titans with a four man front. Pushes it out to the left. Jonathan Goma brought him down. That's his fifth tackle of the game. That's exactly the way you want to run this play. Perfect pitch by the quarterback. The back didn't have to break stride, and they bring it downfield for a good game. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Pass play to the right. Griffin comes up to make the play at the 38-yard line. He was looking for a place to run, but all those places were filled up with guys waiting to tackle him. Ball on their own 38. Ball on the 38-yard line. Watch out. Let's run, man. You got to believe it. Looking for room. Terrell Suggs stopped him for his third tackle so far. Jackson has gained enough for another first down, his second of the drive. First and ten. Ball on the 46 yard line. The Titans come out in a 4 3 with the throw. Intercepted. In Nelson the had the coverage on the pass. Play. The intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 46 yard line. One back. Watch the play. Yeah, you see me. The Titans hey, with a four man deep. front. Garcia sends a man in motion. Watch screen. He tucks it away. Goal is there on the stop at the 46. They tried to find some room in the middle, but there was no place to go. I'll tell you what happened. The defense was coming with a lot of guys in a run blitz, and the hole that that play was supposed to go through was filled with defenders. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. Only one man back. It's all about teamwork. Not here, not here. Solid 29, solid 29. Closing in. Looking comfortable in the pocket. Fires this one deep. And he dropped it. The coaching staff thinks that he has some of the best hands in the team. Kind of surprising to see him drop a pass like that. Player will come in now to punt it away. Randall L sets up, waiting for the punt. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. Fair catch made at the 17 yard line. The Titans will start the drive at the 17 yard line. First and 10. Tennessee comes out in a 4-3. Aimed it off to the back. Carter comes up to make the play at the 24. The defense has had a tough time slowing down the running game. The offensive line has really controlled the line of scrimmage, opening up some big holes for the back to run through. Ball on their own 24. Ball on the 24-yard line. All on us, y'all. Get it, get it, get it. Tennessee with six defensive backs. Hand it off. Thomas is there on the stop. At the 26 yard line. Lynch takes it up the middle for a yard or two. Third and one. Ball on the 26 yard line. One more, fella. Tennessee comes out in a 4-3. It's the toss to the right. 
Stoutmeyer is there for the tackle at the 31-yard line. Usually on runs like that to the outside, it's a receiver and a tight end who makes a good block to get you those yards. First Ball on their own 31. Ball on the 31 yard line. The Buccaneers come out in a 4 3. With a counter play. Andre Carter looks Wait, fresh out there. The He's been in on five tackles. Lynch runs run. it for about three on the counter play. Second it's second down seven. and seven to go. Ball on the 34 yard line. The Titans line up in the bunch formation. Gets the pass off, knocked away. The pass ball is incomplete. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Titans ahead of the Bucks 16. Zero. The Titans 16. The Buccaneers. The Titans begin the fourth quarter with a big lead, so we'll probably see a ball control style offense. Third and seven. Ball on the 34 yard line. Only one man back. Receives the handoff. He never saw that one coming. The defense likes to keep the pressure on. They'll bring extra guys on an overloaded side, hoping for turnover opportunity. Sastadil is ready to pump this one away. Pass is back to receive this kick. He signals for a fair catch. Fair if they want a shot in this one, they got to put something together on this drive. There just isn't much time left. The so they have first and ten start here. The drive at the 44-yard line. First and ten. Only one man back, looking to run it here. Nice play fit. Gets rid of it. It's broken up. He has a knack for making a big play. That was another one right there. Intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Slot, slot. Pressure coming. I really like the way these guys get after the quarterback. They have a bunch of effort guys out there that have non-stop motor. They push to the inside, they rush to the outside, and they really do a good job applying pressure, forcing the quarterback to throw it before he wants to. Defense lines up in the nickel. Pressure gets the pass off. Incomplete. When you talk about ball control and time of possession, that's not what you want to see. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. Fair catch called for. Fair catch made at the 20 yard line. It's Titans first and ten. Start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and ten. Will, will, will. Tennessee lines up in a 4 3. Give it to the halfback, Zach Thomas. One of the more formidable tacklers in the no league. Wraps up another one in. It's number seven for him. Ball on their own 19. Ball on the 19-yard line. The Bucks come out of the 4-3. Hands it off. Is there for the tackle? Lynch takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Third Ball on their own 23. Ball on the 23 yard line. Don't make a play! 
the 31. This is tough running here. Let's watch him as he gets through right here. And he breaks a tackle and keeps moving forward. I tell you, this guy's hard to bring down. Keep it up. No more, fellas. Go, 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 go. Hold the look. Roger with a man in motion. Let's turn it up, D. Let's go, D. Let's go. Hands it off. Hagan comes up to make the play. At the 36, Jones with a nice burst through the middle that time. Five-yard pickup. It's second down and five to go. All of the 36-yard line. So we're going to take it. Stay both now. The Titans line up in the bunch formation. Throwing. This pass is incomplete. Bryant was the one they were trying to get the ball to. receiver on the play. Third and five. Ball on the 36-yard line. Here we go, baby. The Buccaneers come out in a 4-3. On the delay. Hagan is there for the tackle. Well, that didn't cut it. Now they're looking at fourth down. They made the decision to just keep it on the ground. Take time off the clock, not force anyone. This is a luxury of being ahead. Sashtadil comes into the game for the punt. Pass into return. And he chooses not to return this one. This is where all your guys on offense have to step up and make play. Time's running out, and they're facing a pretty large deficit. So this is where you're going to have to try and execute and come up with a little luck, maybe. The ball on their own 29. Will start the drive at the 29 yard line. First and 10. Keep the throttle down. Only one man in the backfield. Hand it off to the back. Nelson comes up to make the play at the 39, game of 10. Second and inch. Ball on the 39 yard line. Check it. Here we go. Throws it. Is there on the stop? Perfect execution to get this first down. Look at it here. He knows how far they have to move the chain. And he gets it by making the right decision and laying it in there like that. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Let's go Going to the air on first down. Off balance throw. Incomplete. The defense forced the issue that time, John. The guys up front got good pressure, forcing him to get rid of that one before he wanted to. Second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Let's go. Yeah, you see me. The Titans line up in a 4-3. Dropping back under pressure with the throw. It's broken up. That's just great positioning Joe by the defender. The he has his eyes in the backfield the whole time, and he was right there to break the play up. Jerevicious was his intended target. Third and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Jackson, the lone setback. Throws it. And it's complete. Rump records the tackle at the 21. This is a guy who comes to play. And he seems to make big catches when they really need him. This time they needed to convert on third down. And he's there for the reception and the first down. Is there on the stop 
at the 16-yard line. Green is getting up very slowly. It looks like he'll head toward the sideline and we'll get you an injury report as quickly as possible. They're in the red zone. Six. Ball on the 16-yard line. We're talking about Reed. Let's go. Have to get some points on this drive and are in good position now to do that as they're in the red zone. Hey, if you can keep running the ball in the fourth quarter as you're playing catch-up, that's an advantage that you have over the defense because it keeps them off balance. So an update now on the injury. It doesn't appear to be anything serious, and his return is probable. A little misdirection. Fumble. Loose ball. The Titans scoop it up. Unbelievable. What a time to cough up the ball. After that turnover, here's how both teams are doing in that department. It's first and ten. Ball on the two-yard line. Line up in a 4-3. Stoutmeyer is there for the tackle at the 10-yard line. He's showing no signs of slowing down. That game puts him over 125 yards on the ground. Second and a deuce. Ball on the 10-yard line. Let's go now. Tennessee goes with a four-man front. Throwing on the run. It's broken up. In Plenty of pressure, game. and he barely gets Martin the pass the away. Cover. This defensive coordinator understands that pressure is the key to forcing the offense into making mistakes. If his players keep playing like this, he might be up for a head coaching job pretty soon. Third and two. Ball on the 10-yard line. Tennessee using three linebackers. Passing here on third and short with the pass. Who is there for the tackle at the 10? He made the reception, but couldn't find a way to get past the marker. Sastadil will come in now to punt it away. Pass lines up deep for the punt return. This one goes out of bounds. Green returns after spending time on the sideline with an injury. They both now. The Titans line up in a 4 3. What's the hard count? Going to the air on first down. Gets rid of it. And he makes no, he can't hold it in. I'll tell you, that was a tough one. When you're playing in these types of conditions, even the easy passes can be hard to hang on to. And we're at the three minute mark. On the 32 yard line. Hey, watch that three. Play hard and fast. The Buccaneers come out with receivers bunched on both sides. Closing in, gets the pass off. Ooh, pass nearly picked off. Hood with Number the coverage. 89, the intended receiver on the play. And here's a look at each team's success on third down so far. Dropping back. Down he goes. If Garcia won't get the ball away and goes down hard. He got taken down again, and that's the fourth time in this game he's been sacked. Fourth and 15. Hey, let's go. Watching the knee. Are we going to do? I don't think they have a choice. They have to go for it. He's rid of it, and he hits his card. They failed to get the first and turn it over on downs. At this point in the game, they need a big play. Sometimes high risk equals high reward. They might try a different play next time.
The Titans will start the drive at the 26-yard line. First and 10. The Buccaneers line up in a 4-3. They give it to the halfback. Lot is there for the tackle at the 36-yard line. Picked up 10 yards. Almost at the two-minute mark now. The 36-yard line. Let's run, man. Tennessee goes with a four-man front. Watch the face. Watch each other back. Everything you got, nothing. They don't get nothing. We the hell on that the nail. Watch out. Let's go, B. Let's go. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. And we've reached the two-minute mark. Ball on the 36-yard line. Watch this. Get me going. Don't stop. Don't stop that motor. Here we go. Hands it off to the back. Love is there on the stop with the at the 38. He finds his way just past the first down marker. Tampa Bay calls a timeout. They have two remaining. Lynch, the lone back. Hey, let's go. He tucks it away. Stoutmeyer is there for the tackle at the 47. Picked up nine on the play. It's second down and one to go. Lynch, the lone back. He gets the carry. Freeney is there Run on the stop on the and the 46. No he tried to pick his way through the middle, but there was no room. That's right. And when the middle of your offensive line is eaten up like that, you got to try and get to the outside. But they wouldn't let him get away. Third, Third and two. two coming up Ball here. on the 46-yard line. Tennessee comes out in a 4-3. They give it to the halfback. Lynch picks up the first down. That's the second time on this drive he's been able to move the chains. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Bucks with a four-man front. Go, 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 go. To carry it. The 40 puts it on the ground. The Buccaneers pick up the fumble. So they lose possession after fumbling it away. Ball on their own 38. Ball on the 38-yard line. And we'll take a few looks to determine whether the ball came out before the knee was down. The key thing here is that the ball started to come out before his knee was down. If it did, then it should be counted as a fumble. No fumble occurred. It was unclear initially why they called for a review, but now we understand the reason. You have to give it to these officials. Their job's not easy. Sometimes they make mistakes, and most of the times they're right. Let's go now. They soft, man. They won't know. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Let's go, boys! Yes! Oh! All day, right. baby! Come on! Stop it! Because you're ready! Uh -huh. Play hard and fast, baby! Uh -huh. Stop him out! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on! And there's the kneel down by the quarterback. Tampa Bay calls a timeout. They have none left. And a kneel down here on second down is the most likely scenario. 
about your eyes. Let's go, be good. Bring it! Let's do our thing, let's do our thing. Dead ball, let's start on the offense. Number 88. Oh, Still moved a little down. early there. Yeah, the rule for the offensive line is once you put your hand down, you can't move until the ball go, snaps. Go, go, go. Hey, watch the ball. We're talking about Maria. He's coming it up. He's coming to it. Get it up. He'll just take a knee. Sports. This is Al Michaels and John Madden wishing you a very pleasant good evening. 